In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the new properties that has been added into a component or variables or variants. So I'm going to share with you how these are going to work. For example, we have Boolean, we have text, we have icon. So you can show and hide your icon. So I'm going to click on this button. So let me show you. So here you can see on the right, we have properties active is yes and no. Then we have a text property, which is a new one. Uh, then we have instance swap property. So you can see this one. This is set for icons. And then we have another Boolean property that show, that is uh, showing me uh, show icon. So I can hide or show icon. Uh, so you can see, let me show you the. So here we have that component. And if I try to, you know, activate its state. So this is active. This is inactive. Then we have this text. I can change the text over here. Save my spot. Okay. So I have changed it to or save. Let's say save settings. So rather than, you know, going clicking again and again or going into the layers and, you know, changing the test text over there, it is better to have this replace over over here. Now the benefit is going to be for the developers. For example, I am a developer. I don't know much how to use this uh, Figma. So that would be super easy for me to, you know, change text over here. Then we have this icon, which is actually a swappable, com uh, swappable component. So I can swap any component over here. So you can see now this icon has been changed. Then we have one more, which is again a Boolean property show icon and hide icon. So you can see before that we had to create multiple variants like four or five. So you can see over here now I have just two other uh, if I had to, you know, use the old uh, methodology, I had to create like four or five components where I am going to hide the layer of icons to show and hide these. So this is very, very handy, super easy. Let's try to create one with um, right now so let's use save settings i'm going to make this text white because i'm going to create again a black button shift a to um, auto layout add auto layout and uh, i'm going to fill it with the black color so let's use this black and uh, on the left and right, I'm going to use this is these are new padding sites, padding settings. So this is really nice new auto layout. I have already made a video for this one. And uh, let's use 16 over here. So I'm going to use 24 on both sides and let's use four for the radius. Okay, so here we have our basic button. Uh, this is just a frame with a text. Now I'm going to add an icon over here. So let's um, replicate this command D and I'm going to move it over here. Now you can see this has been lined up messing, messing the lining up. So I'm going to use this left middle alignment. Now they are perfectly aligned. So I'm going to call it a button. Okay. So now I have basic button, uh, which is inside an auto layout and um, just text and an icon okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to create a component out of it so once the component has been created so you can see we can add properties over here uh, so let's select this and uh, once i am selecting this so you can see i have a small icon over here add boolean property uh, so you can add a boolean property for this one or you can have, um, let's create a variant for this one. So I have a variant. So variant, let's change the color to something else. Um, let's use this color, this darker blue over here this time. So here we have another variant. So let's call this um, active variant and this is default. So now we are going to move to the properties. So this is the property of active state. Um, no, uh, yes. St 
state. So we can call this one. Uh, this one is going to be default state and this one is going to be active state. Okay. Okay. Now we are going to set some things over here. Now to set your text property. So we are going to click on any text over here. Okay. So here we have the text and uh, in the content you can see we have this small icon over here which says apply text property. So if you want to hide the uh, hide this text you can have apply boolean property. So let's apply both of them. So first we are going to apply text property and let's use text over here the name for the property. Uh, then again for the variant we have to do the same yes for the text. Okay, so we have set the text property. Now if we click on the button, uh, you can see we have two properties. One is state, default and active, which I have made. The other one is text. Now if I want to hide my text and show my text, so I have clicked again. So you can see here we have another property, add apply boolean property. So let's um, sh uh, show, show text, okay, show text true and false it is going to hide and show it automatically so don't have to do anything else now we have set three properties one is showing and hiding our text one is text one is state so you can also add some over here so in instance swap so let's go to the instance swap so this is the one we are going for the instance swap so let's click on here so you can see all these options are going to be inside this small arrow and a diamond so let's click over here let's call it icon and i'm going to create a property okay similarly for this one i'm going to switch it to icon and if i want to hide an icon too so i can go to layer and let's create another property uh, show icon Okay. and similarly for this one so we are going to where is the option okay so I, th I think I have already set it for this one I have to set show icon okay so show icon is in the layer so in the layer I have to again click and choose show icon so now my icon has two properties one is swappable icon I can swap to other layers or other icons or other assets uh, which are also going to be components and the other one is show and hide icon so now let's try to uh, I, I am not liking the color of this one so let's try to change the color to purple okay, so let's use purple over here okay so this is my button if I go to assets and use this button over here. Now let me show you the power of this uh, component. Now we have set all the properties and let's use this one. So we have dragged this button over here. So this is the button and you can see we have default and active state. Then we have uh, this text. Uh, we can write anything here. So uh, this is very nice we can swap it with other components so you can see we have local components which are uh, these are actually icons so i'm going to swap it to archive tray so right now the icons are not visible because they are white in color so you can see now i have swapped this icon similarly you can see we can hide icon and show icon okay and where is our text uh, hiding and showing where is our text uh, show text so let's select this show text is there layer oops we have um, haven't set it to show text so now it is going to appear over here so we have to set uh, and select the properties to this the same layer uh, in both our variants so now you can see it is going to show me this okay so this is show text high text so without uh, text this is going to be like this and show text this is going to be like this so right now you can see if i had to create i had to create like six different variants where i'm hiding and showing my text hiding my icon and showing my icon 
and then the, again the two active states active and inactive so now you can see i have to create just two or three maximum maybe some disabled button over here and i can hide and show everything over here so this is really really easy you have to go in the settings over here to uh, select different options and you can set it to different um, variants uh, properties variant properties like you can see this is state then we have text which is a really nice addition you can also click over here so you can see boolean instant swap text you can create from here these are the three new things that they have added over here i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, make sure you like and subscribe i know that most of my channel viewers they are not subscribers make sure you subscribe because uh, because it gives me a boost that i have to create keep creating such videos uh, make sure you like subscribe and keep on watching user experience design and ui design lessons uh, on my channel till then we will meet in another video take care and bye bye